hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about jack garland so before i dive into his uh pros and cons and everything i'd like to talk a little bit about his kit because he introduced a new mechanic called negative bravery so what he does is every time jack performs his follow-up attack which is available as long as he kept his buff from his skill 1 and skill 2 up so regarding how it works every time jack performs the follow-up attack he will actually trigger a negative 200% of his own max bravery and apply to the enemy. Other relevant buff that actually affect this is his EX buff which provides a negative 400% because it increased up to 100% of the negative max bravery and since it's 200% along with this 100% it will goes up to 400% of Jack's max bravery. And this is essentially very important because Jack's follow-up attack comes with two single target HP attack and a third attack which is completely based on the negative bravery total of the enemy itself. So in a normal situation where his VT effect is not active, he'll be performing 400% of his own max bravery on the enemy for his third attack. So of course with the BT buff, he actually allows a stronger attack with a 30% extra true damage from all those negative bravery and also increase the uh, limits for the negative bravery applied on the enemy by 300% so go up to 600% of Jack's own max bravery right now so essentially this is really important so if you're paying attention to the numbers here are some examples I'll be throwing out with Diabolus uh, run here with my Jack so you can just take a look on how it works Yaruka. Okay, so you might not see it too clearly, but judging from the video, I'm just putting out here with BT effect and without BT effect, the differences between all. So as you can see here, without the BT effect, it's clearly show that all this is uh, the numbers that Jack is dealing with the negative bravery third attack also affected by his HP damage cap out. And of course, with the BT effect, all the party gain the 30% true damage. As you can see, that's a plus. 100, um, 159,000 right there, which is 30% of Diablo's ne uh, negative Brax bravery. So yeah, that is how essentially how his kit works. Anyway, going into his role, Jack Garland is obviously a DPS character and he does a huge ton of damage from what you can see over there, can go up to 600% of his max bravery. So it's equivalent to almost like um, three times of your regular attack. So from there, you can just get an idea about how high his max bravery, I mean his third attack can deal with the follow up. Also, so he, since he sets the enemy to the negative bravery, this doesn't only affect his own damage but also protects the entire party. For example, as you can see from my video, previous video, Diabolus actually has a brave damage done to the entire party but because the brave damage he deal is not able to recover himself from all those negative bravery it's not dealing any damage even with the full up hp attack so yeah i think that part is actually really crucial that people often overlook anyway the third follow-up attack is based on max bravery like i mentioned before and this means that it ignore any forms of defense any forms of brave damage reduction it also ignores any sense where jack doesn't cap his brave attack it doesn't matter it will always deal the maximum attack from the uh, negative bravery of the enemy itself and of course true damage is always a nice bonus to have and the fact that his great sword meaning that it's extremely popular among the ultima weapon that you will have so yeah all this is really pointing you towards pulling the character as for his cons i would say that max bravery floor bosses although not very common is still making jack totally unusable then we'll see uh, stages like spiritus for example the rama spiritus or the brother spiritus are some of the example where the boss have the max bravery floor so yeah not too good for jack in that sense anyway uh jack is also really bad really really bad with teams that actually re-breaks or unbreaks the enemy for example arden for example lightning for example noel all this is really bad with jack because only jack himself can set the enemy to the negative region and if you use Zack FR, I mean Jack's FR, you want the enemy to constantly stay on the negative region even when your party attack it. And if your party re-breaks it, and since it's not Jack the one doing the uh, re-breaking or the breaking, 
it will set the enemy to zero bravery and they will stay that way and they'll just stay broken while not having the negative bravery which will highly affect Jack's own FR HP damage bonus up so yeah. So speaking with FR, Jack is actually really easy to fulfill. He has a melee ability FR when and he also have the enemy afflicted with break as well as an enemy with negative bravery. So melee ability means that melee attacker, then you will see units like Machina, like Core for example, which is more popular with the off turn attack like Yang, like Squall. And of course, of course, it's actually really unique with this video. I have proven this to be true, where you can run a supercharger with Jack. How it works is as long as the enemy stays in the negative bravery, any supercharging kit or skill will still get the two HP damage bonus condition from Jack's FR. So netting up up to 105% of HP damage bonus. So that's a really interesting way to play Jack though. I don't really see a supercharging strat before, but I think it's really interesting, especially if you run units like Kane, where he's up in the air and then Jax can just go turn by turn then have one unit in between like Hope for example to supercharge him and then he gains all the HP damage bonus before going into his own BT phase. As for Jax's BT phase, it's really easy if his uh, multiple enemy you want to focus more on his skill 1 since it has more split and, and if it's single target you want to focus all more on his skill 2 leaving his LD, his EX and his FR last. So yeah, Jack Garland, in my opinion, is a is still a very strong character, but I'm not gonna pull for the character itself because I just don't find myself using him a lot, even though he does have and does deal a lot of damage. I just like uni using units like Renoa, like Tifa, like Vaughn, or even like Sid Rain a lot more than Jack. Jack is kind of boring if you ask me, because outside of damage, he doesn't really have much to offer to the party or to himself and of course he's kind of slow to be honest uh, he doesn't have any um, high turn rate skill and that makes him a little bit less desirable if you're not running Luna Freya with him then he's not gonna take all the turns unless you go into his BT phase of course but yeah personally I'm gonna skip this banner on both my main and my alt unless I really luck set him in my uh, free pull then I might might a heavy emphasis on the might maxing him up but yeah, he's still a very good character. If you're a newer player and you lack a lot of DPS, I highly recommend you to go for him. But for me, he's gonna be a skip. Alright, so that's about it guys. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.